welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a general reading for the collective of Gemini. So you could have Gemini in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Midhaven, wherever, or you could just be attracted to the reading. Welcome. Cross watchers are more than welcome to be here. You may be dealing with a Gemini or just attracted to the reading. This can be in any area of your life, not just pertaining to love, although that is kind of predominant. Um, a lot of people have that on their mind. Please, uh, only take what resonates, leave the rest, and never make any life-changing, altering decisions based on any tarot reading, okay? Also, additionally, please keep in mind everything is subject to free will, yours and anyone else, or anything else that you're energetically connected to. Also, the will of the divine. No one is free from the, uh, law of cause and effect, so karma. So, again, only take what resonates, okay? So, I don't know why I'm holding these. Hold on. Mm. That's the reason why. Let's go with it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, what messages do you have for Gemini, please? Now, remember, you might have to swap the roles or whatever. But I'm going to read it from Gemini's perspective. What is most pressing? Uh, this could be something from the past, something currently going on, or, and something that's carrying on to the end of April. This is for the 16th through the 30th of April 2021. Is there something you're not too happy about, Gemini? Show me this. Show me Gemini, please. What's wrong with Gemini? Okay. Me talks. Repairing the body, mind, and spirit. So, needing to take some me time. How, uh, hollow bone teachability. Okay. Come to me. And covenant. Sacred contract. Okay. Well, so what I just heard is did you even realize what you're signing yourself up for? Do you know what you're signing yourself up for? Are you teachable? Are you detoxing? Are you taking time for yourself? I'm going to read this. Spirit says for me to read them. Okay. Let's see. I. But there is. Before I even get. There is something that. You need to pull back your energy from something. I mean, you don't have to do memory. This is your life. It ain't mine. So whatever you do or don't do, you have to live with that. But what I feel is that you there's a need for you to pull back your energy from a contract because there's something that either you're not learning, okay, or the okay that you're not learning, or what someone else isn't learning learning about. Um, there is something that needs to be honored when it comes to a contract. That could be in business. That could be in finances. That can also be in romantic relationships. So it's like, it's almost like having to walk through a maze to get to it, but it's blank. It's deceptive in some fashion. Yeah, I'm not going to read the book because there's something, there's also things from the past that need to be dealt with. You need to listen to your intuition as well. Are you teachable? Are you really teachable? No judgment towards you or them. Whomever, if, if it does involve somebody, but it feels like you really are either taking some time to yourself or taking a break from somebody or something. But there also is a need to detox as well from toxic and I feel like toxic energies around you or within you. Or someone needs to do this concerning you. So someone really does need to pull back their energy. Someone is hollow. Because they've, they've given so much, they've stretched themselves so thin that they are on the verge of being in a serious burnout. You could be in a marriage or this could even be around work. Now, I mean, I guess people could take it as like a twin flame thing or whatever. I personally feel that everyone's your twin flame because we're all soulmates. Literally, we're all soulmates and people over, I'm not saying they're not real. They're very, very rare. 
but people overuse that term as a way to perpetuate their cognitive dissonance to accept abuse. So, yeah. Okay, well, there is a tower coming. That just popped right out. Okay, so I guess we're going with that. So, there is a revelation or, yeah, magician as well. Okay, that is your energy here, Virgo and Gemini. How teachable. How are you using your power? Are you using it to manipulate or are you using it for self-development, for manifestations? Okay, yeah, we have also have the Seven of Pentacles. Also reaping what other, reaping what ha you have sown. But also... harvesting hmm. <clears throat> but you see how the seven of pentacles this is also not necessarily getting a return on your investment it's like working for something but not seeing the rewards of it uh, there's something about being mindful about the details of a contract <coughs> excuse me there is something that's coming all the way down you're, you're getting, there's going to be a tower moment here that's going to cause you to pull back your energy, which I feel is really good. Also, you might be realizing there's a third party scenario here with a water sign because this is like a mermaid in a bathtub. Or merman, mermaid, merman, uh, mer person. Doesn't matter gender, gender identity, sexual preferences, or orientation, okay? But there's a tower coming. Um, it's like a shock. A shocking revelation or something that just really wasn't built on a solid foundation. The divine is sitting in the tower because it, it something's been too stagnant for too long. Um, also, you, you could also be, you might have manifested a test for yourself with a magician here and, and teachability to test you or, and see if you're actually teachable. Um, okay. Or for somebody else here, this, when this tower happens that you possibly even manifested a way out. Of a contract because you weren't getting a return on your investment, whether it's romantic or business. This is going to teach you a lot. This is going to teach you how to manifest and what you manifest. Also, you're you're being taught some harder lessons here that, yeah. Okay, why is the tower here then? Show me the tower. Prince of Cups. Okay, so Page of Cups here. So this can talk about like an offering or news of, of love. More water sign Pisces energy here. There's a tower coming because of a Pisces. I don't know if you can see that. Um, okay. I want to move this up so you can see it. But there, there might be a Pisces or there's something from the past that's coming back around to teach you a lesson. Something you didn't learn before. Or there's something that you've done before. You, you reap what you sow. You've reaped what you sow. That's what I keep hearing. So because of something regarding romance or love that you've done. Either currently or in the past. Or that you will be doing. You've manifested yourself to not fully get a return on your investment here. You're not going to be able to harvest a lot. Um, but you're going to harvest exactly what you've given. If that makes sense. Show me the magician. Why is this here? You're finding out also Scorpio energy as well. Pisces for me as a reader, but also Scorpio. Um, okay. Then you also have strength here as well that just came out. Leo energy. All right. So you've got some majors coming out. You're trying to manifest a Leo back towards you to teach them a lesson. Or this is also Scorpio for me as a reader. But also Aries and Aquarius. There's an offer that you want to make towards a Leo. Or you're upset that you didn't get an offer. Or you're trying to bring a tower to a Scorpio. Through uh, manifesting a Leo back. Or manipulating a Leo. This is someone who looks kind of pissed. Or somebody sees what you're, some, a Scorpio may see what you're doing and they don't appreciate it. Okay. 
Yeah, we also have the Eight of Cups Reverse. Yeah, you want somebody to come back towards you. So, bottom of the deck, you also have King of Cups Reverse, Cancer Energy, but you are manipulating something or manipulating emotions, guilt trips, and whatnot. Very emotionally all over the place to try to get somebody to come back towards you. Show me the tower. Tell me more about the tower, please. <clears throat> yeah, Eight of Wands. You got two eights here. Someone might have been born in 1988, but not necessarily. This is fast communication as well. Also movement, but fast, passionate communication. Also fast realization. We got one, two, three, four. You it looks like you got four tower cards or four tower cards. You got four towers coming towards you in rapid um, succession. So prepare for that. And it's going to be of the emotional nature because there's something that it needs to teach you. Okay, tell me more about the magician. Someone also might be a Leo sun and a Virgo or Gemini moon. Or you yourself have a, a Leo moon or a, you might be a Leo with a Gemini moon. Or someone also might have a Virgo moon or someone might be a Virgo with a Leo moon. So keep that in mind. You're trying to manipulate somebody though to come back towards you. And a Scorpio possibly is watching this whole thing fucking unfold. And, oh, it's not going to be good. You're trying to bring a tower moment to a Scorpio that's in rapid succession, but it's going to be happening for you instead. If you've pissed off a Scorpio, Gemini's, you guys are really smart. Really smart. But if you've pissed off a Scorpio, good luck. Or a Leo, good luck. You might be using a Leo to get to a Scorpio. And there's, there is fast, this is a lot of um, passionate communication or just really fast communication or fast realizations like back to back to back to back. Also, there is a Scorpio, Scorpio full moon. There's a super full moon in Scorpio, I think on the 26th. So this might be happening around that time, but not necessarily. Show me the magician, tell me more. There's something you need to learn that you already have the tools. Yeah, an offer. You want to be communicating with somebody to give them an offer. That could be love. That could be money. Or um, Also, you might be trying to take somebody down a notch or two. Concerning a Leo. This talks about new finances, new contracts, new raises, new jobs, new money avenues. You might be trying to convince somebody to come towards you. You might be trying to use money to do so. Okay, show me the Seven of Pentacles then. Okay, we got Seven of Cups now. Some more Scorpionic energy. You have Seven and Seven, and then you have Eight and Eight. <clears throat> this could even be like the Knight. That could even be the Knight of Cups. So, offering sincereness to a Leo. You're trying to bring a tower moment for someone to not communicate. You want somebody to communicate passionately and sincerely with you, possibly a Scorpio, but they're looking at a Leo, but not you. So, there's, you might, again, you might be trying to bring a tower moment to a Scorpio for some reason. But why? Okay, you're trying to break up an, uh, an, some type of offer because you're not getting return on your investments with a, you, okay, you might believe in the twin flame thing. And you feel like this person, this Leo or, or Scorpio, whomever you're with, um, is not honoring that. Or you feel like somebody's not going to honor that sacred contract. You, someone, you may not want somebody to get married to somebody. You want somebody to come back towards you. You realize that they have a lot of options or you have a lot of options. But you're not going to return on your investment. You want somebody to come back. But then again, there's, you don't, you're not getting uh, the return on the investment. There's a lot of confusion around an offer. You might be finding out someone's married or getting married. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Show me the tower then. Show me, tell me more about the tower. Okay. Yeah, you're, retre you're trying to retreat from this lesson, but you can't. <clears throat> you can't. Also, there's Mercury... Uh, in Aries right now. All about fast communication. So that could even be Mercury and Aries. 
Someone might have been born, uh, something might have happened in like 1977 or you've been born at that time. Or someone's born 1988 possibly, but not necessarily. Show me the magician then. Yep, you were left out in the cold. Someone retreated from you trying to escape a, or you are retreating from somebody to try to escape a tower moment here. But you're also spying on them, gossiping about them as well with the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. You're trying to get information about why somebody didn't return uh, the investment. Okay. Show me the Prince of Cups. Why is this here? Or excuse me, show me the Seven of Pentacles, please. Yeah, you're really up in your head about this. Why somebody, why you're not getting return on your investment. Somebody might already have somebody else. Somebody might actually be married. You might be trying to, you might be trying to manifest a Leo to propose to you. Or to marry you or to commit to you or to give you some type of money or finances. But you're creating illusion and confusion here. Um, someone also has a lot of options that they can choose from. Some people is also offering a lot of commitment to a lot of different people. That you may not be aware of. Show me the Prince of Cups. Okay. Yeah, you got the Eight of Wands, but in the reverse. So, this person isn't speaking to you, and you're trying to manifest them to speak to you. You might be trying to bring it. You're trying. Okay. Someone has the sword of truth. You might have the sword of truth here, because source is your energy. You might want to deliver this, uh, this realization or something to somebody, but they're not speaking to you. The Scorpio isn't. Show me the strength card. Or they're not speaking to you very much. Show me the strength card, please. Okay. Well, Hierophant here. Taurus energy. This also talks about marriage or commitments or higher level of education and, in, and institutions. But there's also two people here. You want to be the one who the Leo chooses. Or you're finding out that this Leo is actually married. Or is getting married. You got the king of wands at the bottom. This is someone who likes a lot of attention. Very sexually impulsive. Can't just, yeah, third party. You were a third party, Gemini. Okay. The reckless third party. Yep, they're very non-committal to you. They also could be very emotionally manipulative or they are manipulating a Scorpio. Or a Scorpio is like this with you. Okay, or you're trying to manipulate a Scorpio. Show me the Eight of Cups reverse. You want somebody to return back from you or to return back to you to offer you commitment. You want them to stop talking to a Scorpio. Ooh, very defensive. Need to have some type of boundaries here big time. Someone's putting up boundaries with you, and they don't want to come back towards you. Also, someone's very defensive towards you as well, because they don't want to come back towards you, because they're already committed, or they're going to be they're going to be getting married, or they are married. Okay, show me the state of wands then. Ooh, yeah, look, see, <laughs> look, eight of cups reverse. You want somebody to communicate that they want to come back towards you. Scorpio energy. Or you're realizing that somebody is going back home. Somebody's going back home to somebody else. To a Scorpio possibly. Or you're going back to a Scorpio. But I feel like it's a Leo that's going back. Okay. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Man. Queen of Wands in reverse. You're very, very not happy about this. You're very scorned. You're very, very upset. You feel kind of petty, vindictive. Very pissed off about somebody getting this offer that you feel like you deserve. And someone is returning back home to give that commitment elsewhere. You're very confused or you're trying to create some type of confusion. They had a lot of options or you did. Show me seven of cups. Yep. We also have the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also had Virgo up here with the magician. And we also had uh, the Taurus energy. So... Also, someone might be talking to you that might be in our side, like a Taurus or a Virgo, strong Taurus, about trying to get a Leo to commit to back to them. They may be manipulating you, or you're you may be manipulating them. Also, there is heartbreak and betrayal here. Also, this can talk about communicable diseases or like STDs or a health concern or 
COVID. Yeah, someone is a traitor in their relationships and very stubborn. But you're letting it go. Lovers in reverse, here you are. You're being, you, you were let go of. There was no victory with you. It was an empty victory. You weren't going to get what you thought that you wanted from this scenario, from the situation. Also, you might be talking to somebody who might have a Leo sun and a uh, Taurus, Taurus moon or a Taurus sun and a Leo moon. Yeah. Uh, you're confused about stability as well, about getting some type of offer of commitment, but you're not, you're not getting it. Yeah, someone's really uh, in their ego. Someone's really nasty with their ego. Emperor. Okay, in the reverse. This, they're not in their power. I don't necessarily, don't let, the number seven talks about imbalances. We got a lot of, we got two sevens, really three sevens. This was meant to happen this way to teach everybody a lesson. There was deception here, clearly. Someone's really big into their ego. We got Taurus, um, also Aries here, or Aries and Taurus. And that cycle has completed, but you want to rush back in and fight for it and deliver the harsh, brutal truth. Uh, you're being, becoming very impatient about this. You could be dealing with Aries. Wanting to work on something, this could be somebody you work with. Or you have worked with. It's very chaotic. There was no healing though to come in. Someone's very insincere with their emotions. Again, very insincere. Very stubborn too. Yeah. You, it was let go of. Had to let it go. So. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, spirit. Show me the four of swords, please. You're you're trying, okay. Yeah, reconciliation with the five of pentacles. Someone left you out. Someone they don't want to reconcile with you. They're retreating from some type of reconciliation with you. Okay, let's just let bygones be bygones. But you're gonna be left out in the cold anyways, or somebody was. Okay, show me the five of pentacles then. Yeah. We got impediment in reverse. So you're trying to not get in. You're trying to manifest coming back in. You don't want to be left out. You also don't want to be blocked either. You're trying to remove blocks. And really work on something with someone. Or you want them to, but they're not doing that. Show me the eight. You got two eights now. Or three eights. Show me the eight of swords. You're really ruminating over this too. Why, why, why? Protector, okay. We got the King of Wands here, Leo energy, also Sagittarius or Aries. Why, why, why? Why does somebody not protect their connection? Why, why did I not get a return on my investment with this situation, with this relationship, or with this contract? Because this can also talk about contracts. Show me the Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, Two of Cups reverse. You want to manifest somebody to break up with someone else. We also have the Queen of Wands in the upper. You feel like this person was your um counterpart this was like your person you guys were the same but you're you weren't you're trying to manifest somebody to break up with somebody else you feel like this the, their main person is the other woman not you show me the hierophant but it's the other you know you see what i'm saying they were never going to leave this person for you yeah ace of pentacles in reverse you're not getting that offer of commitment okay they're not communicating with you as well you might even be receiving some type of bad news about finances or a contract. Show me seven of wands reverse. You need to have proper boundaries and there's a lot of defensiveness going around. Okay. So, you, yeah, someone's not going to fight with you. Um, we also have the king of pentacles reverse. So they're not going to fight with you. Um, they're just going to put up boundaries and leave you be, leave you to it. Um, someone doesn't feel like this is something worth fighting for. Sorry. Show me the Eight of uh, Cups reverse. Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands communication, but it's angry communication that needs to stop and end. But uh, there's a lot of fighting over money. I'm just needing to win. Have the last word all the time. Show me the Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah. Okay. So someone feels like they're weak in a weaker state. Someone feels like you might have been sick recently. I hope you feel better. Um, yeah, okay, well, this can also talk about mental health. There's a, there's a mental health concern coming up for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But a you want to get a surprise wish fulfillment here. 
But there's also, it might be like a surprise, because hearts are also about emotions, a surprise mental health concern or issue. Someone has a lot of secrets about their success and their money. They're carrying a lot of burdens as well around stability. Show me the king of pentacles. Yeah, major fights are coming over deception and lies, over money and stability and illusions and having many options. Anything else about the King of Pentacles, please? Yeah, you. someone's very non-committal here. This is uh, not going to be a pleasant fight. It's going to be fairly nasty. You could be fine with a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus. You could be even fighting about other people. Um, Aquarius. Aries. Strong Taurus. Pisces as well, Virgo and Capricorn. Yeah, Aries is Sagittarius. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, you want to get that cup of love. You want to you want to be the one who receives it, but if it's not you, it's not you. You haven't moved on just yet. Any additional messages or yeah, any additional messages please for Gemini? For you're holding off for you're like, you're holding on to your money, but you're, it's almost like money mising or you're just holding on to that money, but you're also holding on to a person like white knuckling it. Cause you're, you don't, you have like a fear of missing out as well. Or you don't want to lose something cause you feel like it's, you feel entitled to it. Okay. You also have the page of wands and you also have the knight of wands reversed. Okay, someone was very, you're getting news of someone being very sexually impulsive. You're, they could have been younger than you, a younger fire sign, or you could be younger than they are. But there is news of passion, too. This is someone who's very, very immature and who is very sexually impulsive, um, very in and out, um, you know, basically like fuck boy or fuck girl sin central, like seriously. Okay, anything else? Yeah, eight of pentacles reversed. They don't want to work with you. They don't want to sign a contract. They were messing with your mind. Or someone was playing games with you. You might have lost your job because of this person. Or you might be losing your job because of this person. There might have been a workplace romance that was going on. That you end up losing your job over. Because you're not supposed to mess with clients. Yeah. The Empress Reverse. You Okay. You want somebody to stop working with an Empress here. You thought that you were the empress with this person, but you weren't. They are already getting, either already are married or getting married or in a committed relationship. Um, okay, so Taurus and Libra energy. But this is someone who doesn't have their shit together. And I'm not trying to dog you or nothing like that because I do feel like you guys are very, very smart. But you might actually be taken out of your power or throne and lose your job in some fashion due to this person. This Leo or Sagittarius or Aries. Because you're holding on to someone who's very impulsive, erratic, chaotic, disruptive player. Um, anything else, please? Yeah, page of cups here in the upright. Again, so <clears throat> offer of sincerity. You want you so you feel like someone's holding on to a water sign. A Pisces specifically could also be a Cancer or a Scorpio, but strong Pisces. Yeah, death. You want something to come to an ending. This is Scorpio energy. Anything else? You have two pages. Also, there could be two children involved as well. Somehow. Anything else? Yeah, okay. So, the Hierophant, again. Someone's committed. Someone's committed. Either they're committed to a relationship or there's a major contract coming in. Or someone might be going back to school. But someone's committed to this water sign. When I say Ten of Cups, yeah, they want it, they want the end all be all. Yeah, the Hermit reverse. You feel like this person's making a very bad decision, but you won't say it. Or you want to say, but you're blocked from communication. This is also talks about repeating mistakes of the past, but you're not seeing the truth of something. You're not going within for personal truth and clarity. Have not learned from the past. You just I feel like you're you're trying you're trying to mess with someone else's relationship with this in family. Or um, you met somebody at your job and you're not losing your job um, because you had a work affair. So you're not losing your job and you're blaming everyone but you. 
or you want somebody to not get married to somebody or you're trying to break up someone's relationship because you want that person or it could be a family yeah two of cups this is the marriage between water which is in fire scorpio and leo you want somebody to you yeah you don't you don't know, you realize that you're not you're no longer going to be the uh if it's family you're no longer going to be this person's main uh, they're, they're getting married, so they're going to cleave to the wife or their husband or, or whatever. <clears throat> so you also may want somebody to choose you, but they're not choosing you. Also, you may want a Virgo to get married, but they're not doing it. They're not working on that. There's another tower here. I'm telling you, this is major. You're going to, if you're messing with someone's relationship, whether, um, if you, if it's a romantic sense to try to get with that person, that, that Leo or Aries or Sagittarius, strong Leo, you are <clears throat> playing with fire here, literally, and you're calling in a tower moment or you're going to bring a tower moment to call somebody out. Someone could be cheating on their partner with you and now you might have lost your job. It could have been at work and now you want this person to choose you. But they were, yeah, someone's recovering from heartache and betrayal. Four of Cups, they've gained a new perspective about this. So I feel like because you're scorned, you're going to be bringing that to somebody's door to call them out. Um, to Because it's like, how can you hurt me like that and expect to go on with your life with no consequences? So you basically are going to blow up their spot. This is also someone who's not this not paying paying attention or being deceptive. Also, someone's not working on their mental health. Okay, anything else? Yeah, seven of pentacles reverse again. So not again not getting that return on your investment or wanting to get it, but you're not getting it. You feel like this person has to choose you. They don't have to choose you. You need to move on. Or cross watchers, you don't have. Gemini doesn't have to choose you. You need to move on. Or not. You want somebody to leave a marriage to be with you. and okay, Yeah, Three of Cups, you were the third party here. There's a lot of regrets. Someone regrets that. Someone is definitely married. Definitely married. Bottom of the deck, Four of Wands. You were the third party. Or you want, you want to help with the celebration of planning a wedding, possibly. Okay. Let's see. Last messages here. Our final outcome. What is the pot our potential outcome? Spirit, what is the potential outcome of this reading, please, for Gemini's and our that are dealing with this this type of energy? What is the potential outcome? Yeah, Ten of Cups. So happiness. Okay, but who is this for? Right? Yeah, nine of coins is slow to take place, but it is happening. Page of coins. An offer of new raise, a job, or you want someone to make you an offer. You want, you might want a younger, you might want somebody to get remarried to someone who's a younger earth sign, Taurus energy, or a Virgo, Capricorn, anything else, please? Yep, the lovers. You want somebody to marry you instead of whomever they're about to marry. You want somebody to come towards you, offer you commitment, offer you a proposal, offer you um, moving in together, any form of exclusivity and and or commitment or marriage. You feel like this person's your other half. Okay. Yeah, Ace of Wands, you want passion, you want to create. This is about new romance. You want them to choose you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with that Ace of Wands there. A lot of passion, a lot of sex as well. Anything else, please? The Chariot. So they're moving towards, either you're trying to move towards them or you're trying to get them to move towards you. But someone's spot's getting blown up. Yeah, four of swords, someone's retreating from movement from you. Someone's taking the movement to retreat from you. Are you from them? Yeah, it's justice, it's karma. It is just Libra energy. It was meant to happen this way. Yeah, strength card. Yeah, there's a Libra involved. Obviously, you are. You could be doing another Gemini and a uh, Libra, a Scorpio. Okay, anything else, please? Last messages. 
you feel, yeah, Queen of Swords, that's you. You want somebody to choose you, point blank, period. You want a Leo to choose you. They're not choosing you. So now you're going to bring justice to them. Or you're getting your justice because they're not choosing you. Or you want them to lose out on whatever it is that they're trying to build. And you feel like it's just. All right, let me get you some oracle cards. Okay, what messages do you have for Gemini? Um, not this one. Hold on. Okay, they want to use these first. Okay. What guidance do you have for Gemini? What are Aaron and whatever questions for Gemini's and our cross watchers? Well, whatever questions that they're asking right now or will ask for people who watch later and or guidance. Oh, this came out. I didn't even know this was in here. It says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yeah. You see how there's two women here and one man, or there could be two men and one woman, or however, whatever your preferences are. Yeah, you thought things were going really good. I feel like you got ghosted really hard um, because someone was married or getting married. You might have just, yeah, unlikely if that's what you're asking. Uh, it's unlikely that you guys will get back together. Peaceful resolution, though. Yes. Balancing that, balancing that out. Ask your angels to help for guidance and for healing. It's unlikely that you and the person, yeah, big happy changes, but I don't feel like it's with this person, but maybe. Yeah, compromise to find a resolution. Libra energy balancing out scales. There might be a divorce on its way because we do have justice twice. Okay. Yeah, a year from now. Meditation brings answers to connect with your angels and guides. Yeah, but you have success in reverse, but I'm going to flip it up. Success. Take action. There's more, yeah. And the answer is no. Anything else, please? Okay, then we also have recovery. No recovery of the situation. There's no recovery of this uh, relationship. Or you want somebody to not have recovery in their relationship. You want to mess it up, basically, because of being feeling scorned. No judgment. Okay, let's see. You want revenge. Or someone is getting their revenge on you. Or a cross-watcher wants revenge. Any guidance, please? Yeah, you have mask weaver. Discerning and practical choices bring security in life and love. So, you might be moving homes or trying to build a house or moving nests. Okay. Then you also have rhinoceros, a hornbill. Perfect trust will be rewarded with its like. You're trying to trust the situation, but it's very difficult. Okay. Now you have blackbird. It says, open to psychic awareness to recognize the importance of the future. Okay. Barn owl as well. Love approaches unexpectedly. And then you have green heron, profit through learning and observation. So you're really trying to soak something really in. Uh, you want things to be okay. You want things to come back together. Says so some some veteran. Outflank adversaries by keeping a low profile unless threatened. Yeah, you might be stalking somebody's social media right now, or they they might be watching yours. You, if you if they're not coming back, cut the cord. Okay, let it go. You can't force somebody to love you, or you can't force somebody to be with you. Um, cross watcher, this could be you. Okay, you could have been the third party. No judgment, but you can't force somebody to choose you. You can't force somebody to love you. If this is family, you want to... You may feel like this person is not good enough for somebody else, or you may feel like you want to manipulate the situation because you just want to have your way. It's, that's not how it's going to work. You don't want to be cut out of someone's life, but you. it's almost like you're having a realization that if you don't stop with the manipulation that you're going to be something about that you might be talking bad about someone else's uh partner or fiance or what have you and they're about done with hearing that bullshit from you so keep that in mind okay well gemini so i hope this has helped you um if you'd like to get a personal reading with me all the information is in the description box below 
please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you know the next time I upload. And as always, please take care of yourself until next time. Bye.